We got a chemical plant at the back of an Irish store. Yeah. What's going on here? Well, once a year it uh, always looks like this. This is our antifreeze for the year. This is what our shop is going to go through over this winter, getting everybody winterized. Um, and what we use is actually Camco Winter Ban Antifreeze, because in the world of antifreeze, there's alcohol-based and sugar-based. Alcohol-based is the cost-effective stuff. That's the four-gallon jug you see at Home Depot. The problem with the alcohol base is it actually eats into your plastic lines. You've got PEX lines in there and it dyes the lines and that's where people complain about not being able to get the taste out in the spring. That's an alcohol based antifreeze. A sugar based antifreeze doesn't stain, rinses straight out. You can drink it straight. I've had to do it twice for customers already this year to prove it. But it's just a much cleaner in the spring and I always like to think, you know what, we're spending an extra $10 for better antifreeze once a year for our, you know, $10,000 to $110,000 motorhome. Is it really necessary if I use my RV year round that I have to winterize here in Alberta? Uh, you know what, there are a bunch of old boys sitting out there that'll shoot me for saying this. No, you can't just blow out the water from your water lines. We need to actually run antifreeze and a lot of that comes down to a lot of the threads that we have in our fittings today. You get moisture in there, that moisture cracks out in minus 30 and all of a sudden I'm selling, you know, 60, 80 toilet valves a year. I'm selling 120 tap sets a year to guys that just blow out their water lines. Now, help me, when do I need to start doing this? JC, that's a big question. That's a million dollar question. Everyone wants me to say, Bucar says you have to do it September 22nd. A little bit of surface frost in the lines isn't gonna hurt nothing. We're worried about the water freezing solid and expanding. I play the 510 game. There are some guys that winterize, heck, we're winterizing like mad right now already. And there are some guys that'll push to that minus 15, but I don't mind them, they keep me employed. So, other than my water lines, give me just a quick checklist here. What are the kind of things that I need to think of in the in the winter? Battery maintenance, battery maintenance. Pull those batteries out. We need to get those batteries into your garage charged. Your roof, you need to go over your roof, check your seals, make sure you aren't going to get water melting and coming down into the RV. I care about your tires. We need to get the sun off the tires. There's just so many things that you need to get ready for winter that most people don't think about. This isn't a car that you're using every day. This is a baby you're putting to bed for six months. So we want you to come to Bucars so we can do it right the first time and get you winterized safely and properly.